everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x plus 2y cube into dy by dx equals to 1. Solution. Given differential equation. x plus 2y cube into dy by dx equals to y. Now, bring this y to LHS and dy by dx to RHS or simply you can write this as x plus 2y cube into dy equals to y dx. Right. Now, bring dy, sorry, bring y to LHS, you will get x plus 2y cube by y equals to dx by take this dy to rhs you'll get dx by dy right now we have dx by dy equals to x plus 2y cube by y right if you notice the numerator of RHS, you're having two terms, so two terms, and in the denominator, you're having one term. So we'll split the total expression into two terms, then we'll get dx by dy equals to x by y plus 2y cube by y, then dx by dy equals to x by y plus 2 into here. 1y gets cancelled from the numerator and the denominator, then we'll get 2y squared, right? 2y remains the numerator, then you'll get 2y squared. Now, take the term involving x to LHS. Then we'll get dx by dy minus x by y equals to 2y square, right? Then, dx by dy minus, you can just write this as 1 by y into x equals to 2y square, right? Here the RHS part is a function of y and this term is Product of function of y into function of x, right? Fine. Which is linear in x. We know that the standard form of linear equation in x is dx by dy plus p into x equals to q where p and q are either functions of y alone or constants. But in this case, we are having p and q are Functions of y alone, right? By comparing these two, we'll get p and q where p equals to minus 1 by y and q equals to 2y squared, right? Cp is minus 1 by y, which is a function of y alone. It does not involve any x, right? Only y. It has term with y. So we can call it as function of y alone. And here also you're having y square, which is function of y, right? And it does not involve any x. So we call it as function of y alone. So P and Q are functions of y alone. So we have reduced the given equation to linear in x form right and we got p equals to minus 1 by y and q equals to 
2y square. Fine. Now, we'll find the integrating factor. Integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of linear equation in x is given by e power integral p dy is equals to e power integral for p equals to minus 1 by y dy is equals to e power. Take this minus outside the integral, you'll get minus integral 1 by y dy which is equals to e power minus integral 1 by y dy is log mod y. Again, you can write this as e power minus log y and this equals to since e power m log n can be written as not e power m log n, simply m log n can be written as log n power n. Then you can write minus log y as log y inverse, okay? And also we know that since e power log some function of y equals to function of y, right? So from this, we have function of y equals to y inverse, right? That is reciprocal of y we have. Then e power log function of y will be function of y or y inverse simply, okay? Which is equals to 1 by y. So our integrating factor is 1 by 1. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in x is given by x times integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dy plus c. Now, using this formula, we'll find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is x times integrating factor equals to integral q for q equals to 2y square into integrating factor into dy plus c is equals to take the constant outside the integral 2 into integral if 1y gets cancelled only y remains that is 1y remains into dy plus c is equals to 2 into integral y dy is y squared by 2 plus c here 2 gets cancelled we get y squared plus c. So we have x into 1 by y is x by y equals to y squared plus c. We have x by y equals to y square plus c, right? Now, take this y to RHS. The above equation becomes x equals to y times y square plus c. Then x equals to y into y square y cube plus y into c, c, y. This is the required general solution. Therefore, x equals to y cube plus c, y is the required general solution. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in x. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.